Alrighty, so um, I think I'm ready to make this video. Hopefully I don't cough too much. Um, again, I just had pneumonia for about a week and a half. Videos have been delayed. This video was supposed to come out ages ago. But this is the future of Canada's Wonderland video. Everything said in this video um, is not for sure. It is not leaked information. Um, it is Some of it is things I found online or through a request for information with the city. Um, and some of it is things that I am predicting or have heard around the park. So the first off is a simple one. This is um, documents that can be found online. Canada's Wonderland has sold their employee parking lot, almost the entirety of it, to York Regional Transit, which will build two bus terminals, one on the left side and one on the right side for incoming and outgoing bus transportation for both Canada's Wonderland, Vaughan, and the Vaughan Hospital. So this is good news. A lot of people are like, whoa, well, what about the parking lot? Um, or where are employees gonna park? That's a good question. Yes, the parking lot is becoming more instable, or sorry, unstable and incapable of handling crowds. We even saw that on certain Winterfest days, which is crazy that the parking lot would be full. Um, so with that, knowing summers are going to get more and more busy with the condos being built around Wonderland and major subdivisions being built just north of the park and just the park building better attractions, the park's just going to keep getting busier and parking lots are just going to become a bigger problem for Canada's Wonderland. But we know businesses, that will be a problem down the road. So I don't foresee a parking garage in the near future at Canada's Wonderland, but I do see a um, bus terminal and an increase in attendance based off of even just the small bus terminal being built on property. This is great for both employees, the Vaughan area, and guests that are trying to come to Canada's Wonderland. It's also just absolutely stunning in my opinion, and I definitely do not mind something like this on the Canada's Wonderland property. So just wanted to give you guys a quick update on this. These are actual renderings of what it's going to look like. Um, the commencement of the project actually just went through about a week ago. Yeah, no, no, actually, sorry, a month and a week ago, not a week ago, a month and a week ago, the approval went through. Um, so construction should be starting any moment now. Um, that being said, this is information that I can pretty much guarantee is going to happen in the near future at Canada's Wonderland. I don't know about near, near future or near future, period. Um, so um, the information I can provide is the entrance into Canada's Wonderland can no longer handle the crowds that Canada's Wonderland pulls in. For anyone that knows um, or who visited this year, we have a couple friends who literally waited an hour to get into the parking lot and then about another hour to get into the park and they weren't happy about it. I can confirm that the park and the chain is definitely well aware of this problem. The area that I highlighted in green is the current access into Canada's Wonderland with turnstiles for guests to get in, and the entire area in orange fills up and becomes a queue line essentially to get into the park. The area I highlighted in yellow is um, an ease of access area that the park and Cedar Fair is using currently as a temporary solution to help ease of access. So they did open an additional, I think, six lanes of uh, access into the park for season pass holders, strollers, and guests. Um, this isn't helping. So a redesign of Front Gate, as you saw at the beginning, just like Cedar Point got, is definitely in the future, and it probably already is being des designed. Sorry, I just had a hiccup. <laughs> um, the areas that I highlighted in blue would be areas that I could see remaining the merchandise store. Obviously, it would have to be completely torn down and redesigned. The merchandise stores, guest services, and entranceways as well. Um, and then green and yellow will be blue as well. So I'm kind of forecasting or predicting an arched kind of architectural design entranceway where people can um, enter from the left side of the parking lot and the right side of the parking lot um, successfully. Um, and uh, ease of access. The areas in orange would be my ideas of a security checkpoint. I've always thought that Wonderland should have the security outposts with the uh, metal detectors and checking guests before they even get into that little entranceway midway. So I would love to see um, the security checkpoints back there. And then the building in red is obviously ticket sales, season pass sales, and all that. Um, this is an overview of Canada's Wonderland. 
So this is where stuff's going to get a little crazy, and this is where it becomes pure speculation. So um, let's go over the simple things that I already discussed. The light blue in the top north side of the map is the two bus terminals that we discussed that are taking over the employee parking lot. Um, the dark blue at the front gate is the front gate renovation that's probably going to be within the next three to five years, guaranteed. Um, and then the areas in yellow are pure speculation. So there is no solid facts to any of those two areas I'm going to discuss a little later. The areas in blue are kind of areas of interest and um, there have been some sort of discussions, but there are also things against it. So it's very difficult to discuss on what Canada's Wonderland is going to do with those two plots of land. The areas in red are keep very close attention to these areas in the next couple years to the next five years. There's going to be a lot of projects in these areas in the next five years that these areas are just going to be constantly developing um, as you go on. So Canada's Wonderland is definitely due for a lot of family kids additions over the coming years. So again, Cedar Fair is going back to the family um, attention to detail through our coaster gap. So Canada's Wonderland is going to be one of those parks. I have another video coming out shortly, so I'm not going to go too into this. But any major park in the Cedar Fair chain that is getting um, world record breaking coasters, unfortunately, is going to have big gaps in between those world record breaking coasters. So you're going to see parks at Kings Dominion getting those basic coasters. Um, and then you're going to see like the four main parks in the Cedar Fair chain getting world record breaking coasters still um, and still spending that 30 um, $35 million on roller coasters, but there's going to be larger gaps, unfortunately, in between that. But that's okay. They're going to be amazing, and it's worth the wait from what I'm hearing, especially for Canada's Wonderland. Um, we have some really big plans in the future, a lot of them involving food and indoor attractions. So again, keep a very close eye on that. Winterfest was a huge success. The park does not have the catering and food ability to handle those crowds, and you're going to see a lot of emphasis on building very large scale food buildings. So one thing I can probably promise and guarantee you is to expect a um, Harmony Hall styled food building at Canada's Wonderland in the very near future. Um, and that food building is, from what I'm hearing through the rumor mill, um, going to be extremely gorgeous and stunning and have a really awesome architectural design. Now, what that screams to me is um, Backlot Cafe's future is not stable. So you're going to probably see that building torn down and turned back into this gorgeous Asian architecture that it used to have way back in the day before Paramount came in and ruined the park. So that is my guess. Again, I don't know for sure, but that would be my guess based off of what I'm hearing in the rumor mill. Um, and then you're just going to see restaurant upgrades around, just like you're seeing at parks like Cedar Point. Um, that will come. Again, uh, Action Theater is due for an upgrade almost very soon. I would expect that in the next two years, you're going to see an upgrade to Action Theater, whether that be a 4D flying theater or a simple... Um, dark ride attraction, you're going to see something along those lines in the action theater and it is coming up very soon. So I would expect that in the next two to three years at max. OK, so I am hearing in the rumor mill that is probably one of our next um, closer attractions. In fact, that is going to be the area we're going to be watching all of next year for any signs of construction. Now, the area in the kids area, Planet Snoopy, that little weird banana shape object is definitely an area that you're going to want to keep an eye out for a small kids coaster. So we are expecting um, a kids coaster added to the lineup um, sometime soon with more kids attractions. Again, the park and the chain are focusing on families and kids at Canada's Wonderland in the coming years. Now, there's this weird object or area that I circled along the back roads. That is if Canada's Wonderland is to get a flying coaster. That is honestly the only area I could really fit a fly or not a flying coaster, a wing coaster in. We are not rumored to be getting a flying coaster at Canada's Wonderland whatsoever. Um, but a wing coaster or a mock double launch is rumored to be our next coaster. We have no idea which of the two it's going to be. Um, it is definitely going to be either a wing coaster or a mock double launch. Um, it's totally up in the air. So who knows? That's an area that I could see going in. And then the two 
Yellow areas are areas that I could see. So again, as I talked in previous videos, an entertainment district over in the Kingswood area, and then a ground up RMC over in the Dragonfire go-kart area um, on that side of the park. And then the areas in blue are obviously just uh, Splashworks upgrades. Again, we are hearing that Wonderland is not interested in um, expanding its water park anytime soon, and we shouldn't be expecting any upgrades um, significant upgrades to Splash Ricks anytime soon as well. It's going to be a very kid family um, emphasis at Canada's Wonderland and then another big wow um, at Canada's Wonderland with a coaster and then the front gate upgrade. Anyways, hope you really enjoyed this quick update on what I think and what is coming to Canada's Wonderland in the future. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Have a good one, guys. Bye.